Welcome back, all my diamonds. Yes. If you're returning, <laughs> thank you for watching. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Like, if you want to be a diamond, all you just got to ask yourself is, do I fold under pressure? Under pressure or do I glow? Under pressure, you know, because we diamonds, we, 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 we do something under pressure. Like, we don't fold. So, hit that subscribe button. If that's you, we're going to get right into the video. So, I was like, um, eight or nine years old. And I have we had something in a three bedroom apartment and there was nine people total living. So the three I was one of three boys. We all shared a room. And then my mom, dad, and the youngest girl, they pretty much shared a room. And then the other three girls shared a room. So, it was tight. But anyway, we, um, so, I'm just setting up the scene for y'all. So, my, uh, mom, she was in the room doing her mom's hair. Because my mom, she does hair, you know, she does everybody's hair in the family at that time. So, she had my grandma over there, and she was doing her hair in the room. And this must have been around Christmas time or somebody's birthday or something. Because there was, like, toys everywhere. And there was a... um bicycle there was a bike and my dad he was sitting on no he was laying on the couch in the living room so i'm in pretty much the dining room area next to the kitchen so he he's in the living room and it's the open floor so there's no walls in between where i'm at and where he's at so my, one of my older brothers and me and him was standing over in the dining room area and we had um, well he had this bike and he had lifted it up and he was like I'm going to drop this on you and I said no you're not don't you know he dropped that whole bike on me? Mind you, I ain't have no shoes on, no socks on. It was I was bare feet. Like he just dropped it basically all over my leg. Like that hurt so bad. I cussed out. I cussed him out with every cuss word I knew. I said, "You motherfucking asshole, bitch!" Like I did not give a fuck. My dad was on the couch. My mom and him was in the room. And that's all they heard. And my parents were the time they will ask questions later and hit like punish you first without getting all the facts. Because they didn't it's so funny how they didn't hear him drop that whole bike on me. But they heard every customer that I said. My mom was like, Elvin, did you hear that? Did you hear that? He said I sure did. And he got up and chased me. Like, because I ran. I knew he was coming. Man, I flew under that bed. We had bunk beds. I flew all the way under, all the way to the other side. Like, he flew in there, found me. He was pulling me out. Man, he beat me up. Beat me so bad. Like, it was crazy. Like, he tore me up so bad with the belt. 
Then he forced me into the bathroom. He had a washcloth. He had a bar of soap. He turned that water on. Mixed that stuff in so good. And he forced the freaking rag down my throat and was just pr pretty much scrubbing my mouth out. Like, all because I cussed, like, and my brother who dropped the whole bike on me, he didn't get punished at all. And that's the crazy part. Like, how did he just automatically not get the blame? Like, there was this other time, like, he literally, we was, um, we was in the, uh, we was coming back from the groceries. He kept messing with me, kept messing with me. We got out the car or whatever. He said something, like, and I swung the bag on him because I think he was hitting me or doing something, messing with me. So I swung the bag on me. He ducked down, and my sister was in the way, and she busted her head with a jar of pickles, like, over him. And I got in trouble completely. He didn't get touched or nothing. But he set me up. Like, how are you setting me up? Like, that was just crazy. Like, so yeah, he washed my mouth out badly. And, like, it was just terrible. Like, I was, it was the worst feeling ever, like, and it was, like, a punishment I felt was just way too extreme given the circumstances of what I did. They didn't even care what, what happened. All they heard was some cuss words, like, they didn't even care why. But my thing is, that shit hurt so bad, like, that was the only thing I could think of saying, like, when... That's how bad it hurt. Like, I said every single cuss word that came out of my mouth. So, not only did I get injured by a bike, I got injured by whoopings, too. Like, and that shit was crazy. Like, I just can't believe it. But, you know, I just thank God that I'm still here. And, you know, everything that we go through in life. You know, it's, it happens for a reason. It makes you the character that you are. So, you know, I look at life like that, you know, and I see it from that viewpoint because it's just like, you know, if you don't, I don't know how else to look at it. Like, it's, I don't want to look at it from a lacking point of view, you know. I want to look at it from a fulfilling point of view so that's why I look at life like that but you know if you guys like this video thumbs up y'all know what it is I will see y'all on my next video please get this video to like five likes please five five to ten likes that's all I'm asking um and um please make sure you're subscribed I uh, will see y'all by next one.